Beware of the fruit of bitterness. It's October 22nd, Tuesday. Matthew 18 is our text. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. That's about $10 million, by the way. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children, all that he had, be sold to repay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before him and be patient with me, he begged, and I'll pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him, began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me, and I'll pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown in prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In his anger, his master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay them back all he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. What would it be like to be a citizen of heaven? It would be like part of a family that's canceled the debts they've had against you. It's not because they're more righteous than you. It's because they understand the cost of their own forgiveness offered them on the cross. They will see that nothing was done to them equals what they did to Christ on the cross. The scriptures command us in Ephesians 4.32, be kind and compassionate toward one another, forgiving each other, even as God in Christ has forgiven you. Okay, I have one question for you today. Is there anyone you're holding the grudge against that you have not forgiven from your heart? If there is, forgive them quickly, lest you incur the discipline of God in your life. God, help me to forgive those who have offended me, so that I'll be free to walk with you in grace toward others. Amen.